Okay. Once ready, the product is handed off to the QA team to begin the test phase. Here's our pie chart again. Here is the test phase. Right. Notice that the test phase is almost the very last phase of the software development lifecycle. Right after testing comes deploy. The deploy phase is when the application goes out the door. It gets installed. The users and the business start using the product. So our phase here is very important. Our job is to make sure it's going to actually work when it goes out the door, when the business starts to use it. So um, up to this point, a lot of work has been done. You know, planning, define, design, build. You know, these other phases could have taken six months, nine months, maybe even a year to get through. And now it's handed off to us. So uh, all eyes are on the test team. All eyes are on QA. Everyone's very anxious to get through so the application can get deployed. But again, it can't get through to deploy unless QA accepts it, unless QA finishes the testing of it, and unless QA signs off that the application is ready. So let's talk a little bit more about this test phase. So now it's QA's turn. The test team tests the product to validate that the requirements have been met and that there are no critical problems. Okay, what's a critical problem? A critical problem is a defect. So again, here are two goals that we talked about. Making sure that the requirements have been met and making sure that there are no critical problems. Right? Those are the QA teams, and this is going to be your job during testing. Test cases are executed. Here's a new phrase. We haven't heard this phrase before. If a problem is found, it is reported to the technical team. So these are the developers, right? Uh, the problem is reported to the technical team as a defect. Okay, so a defect critical problem these things are the same all right a test case we're going to learn a lot about test cases uh, during hands-on I mean this is the one of the main things we're going to be working with a test case is a set of instructions it basically is a set of instructions that describe how to test a requirement okay so I'm just gonna try to let you picture it a little bit here uh, let's say we were testing again the new user of the new Yahoo user registration page and one of the tests was to register a user a test case is one of the documents that we create in QA and it is to instruct a tester on how to test that requirement so the requirement is that a new user can success <coughs> successfully register and create a user ID. So a test case might look like, uh, again, it's a set of instructions. So it might look like step one, open up Yahoo. Step two, click on the new user registration link. Step three, fill out all the personal information. Step four, you know, choose a Yahoo ID and password. Step five, click submit probably wondering you know why do we have to write out a set of instructions to test something well one of the things that's very important to QA is QA must be a process that can be audited so if you think about it once a product goes out the door let's say you know we were developing a product um, to manage finances some financial aspect of a business and that product goes out the door, it gets installed, and it has major problems. Okay, They're losing track of the financials uh, for the business. So what's the first thing they're going to do? They're going to go back and, and look at testing to see why weren't these things tested. Testing must be able to show how and what was tested. So what was tested and how was it tested? So we create, 
what is called a test case. And again, it's this basically definition of a test case is it's a set of instructions to validate a requirement. Okay, so it shows exactly step by step how a requirement was actually tested. So in our next lesson, I'll be showing you examples of test cases so you can get a better idea. Um, if we go back to our well, if we go back to our pie chart and look at testing. Testing here, this is when we are actually testing the product. This is when it gets handed off to us. Okay, this is not the only phase we have a job to do. We have to get ready for testing. So I would say 75%, I think I said this before, 75% of our job is getting ready for this phase. It's not actually testing. It's getting ready because we have to create test cases to test every requirement that is in scope for us to validate. So we may be talking about hundreds of requirements and we may need to create more than one test case to test each requirement. So this is where it gets a little more interesting. Okay, learning more about what your job, what your responsibilities are going to be. All right, let's move forward again here. So again, test cases are executed. If a problem is found, it's reported as a defect. All right, we'll get more into test cases and more into this whole entire process of testing in our next chapter. All right. Once all testing is completed by the QA team and the pr and the users, the product is ready for the final deploy phase. So one of the things I didn't mention is the user acceptance testing. And we talked about that in the beginning of this lesson. And once QA is finished testing the product, once we make sure it's working, we hand it off to those to the users to do their own testing, their own evaluation, which is called user acceptance testing. So that's what I'm talking about right here. So once testing is completed by the QA team and the users, so all of that's done within the testing phase. All right, both the testing that QA does and the testing that the business will do, that the users will do before the product goes out the door. <coughs> so if everybody's happy, both us and the users and the business, Users of the business is, is uh, one entity. Okay, the business are the users. The product is ready for the final deploy phase. Here we are, last phase before we are done. Let's learn a little about little bit about the deploy phase. The long await is finally here. Go live. This is the term that's used to describe when an application is going into production go live this is the target that we are been sh that we've been shooting for since the beginning of the project so on a project a go live date is established it's a target that we're working towards it's what the project manager is working towards so go live is when we turn the product on and the users can actually start using it has to get deployed first, has to go out and get installed. During this phase, the new product or upgrade maybe to a, uh, an existing product is put into production. The term production refers to a product and or solution that is live and is now in use by the employees, hence the word productivity it's used for productivity. Okay, so this is what the goal is, is to get the application designed, well, first defined, then designed, then built, then tested, and then deployed. <clears throat> we want the product to go live. Once it goes live, our job is not done, but, you know, 90% of our job is done. We still 
have work to do. I'll talk about that in, fu in a future lesson. So, you know, once a product gets deployed, it doesn't mean that you're out of a job and now you're going to be looking for a new one. So, sometimes you might wish it was that case because by the time you get here, it's been a long road. We've had a lot of work to do, a lot of challenges to overcome. All right. This is the end of this lesson. In our next lesson, we'll be talking about the testing life cycle. Okay, we'll be actually going in, just like software, we have our own life cycle. Our life cycle fits into the software development life cycle, but what the testing life cycle is, is all the activities and tasks that we have to do to support the development of software. So it's a really great lesson. Uh, make sure, though, you go through this lesson again. You study these phases um, on an interview. A common question is for someone, for an interviewer, to ask you to describe the software development life cycle. So if you study these slides and you can describe it like I'm describing it, you'll have no problem. You know, from a QA testing perspective, we just have to know the software development development life cycle from a high level and know how software, how we, the QA team, fit in to those phases. And that's what we're going to talk about in our next lesson. All right. Thank you.